Welcome back. So tell me in the comments if being the middle child is the hardest. I'm wondering if this 2024 Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 514 that we're about to unbox feels a bit of that as it sits below the more premium Chromebook Plus Spin 714 that I showed you on the channel last year and it's certainly a very popular choice. And it sits above the more entry-level Spin 314 that I unboxed and reviewed at the start of this year. This one is on loan to me from AC UK, but as usual, all the views are my own. And it's actually an engineering sample, but it matches the spec of the final production option in the highest configuration. More on the available specs and prices later on in the video. This one is a mid to premium range 14 inch Chromebook Plus model. It's convertible and this particular model spec has 16 gig of RAM and a 13th gen Intel Core i5 processor. So it's one of the highest spec Chromebook Plus models I've shown on the channel. Acer call this color iron. It's a slightly darker gray as we've seen before in Chromebook Plus like that Spin 714. And it feels like the lid is aluminum with plastic for the rest of the chassis but certainly feeling very rigid, very premium in the hand. Nice to see that we've got the rounded corners on all edges, so really nice to handle. And size-wise, it's 14 inches with a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio display that we'll take a look at in just a bit. And as for the weight, I'll flash up on screen what it's weighing in at for me now. Um, certainly not feeling too heavy, pretty reasonable for what it is. For ports and connectivity, we start on the left with two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. There's a headphone microphone combo jack and the physical power button with a built-in LED. And then over on the right, we start with a physical volume rocker, a full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, an HDMI 1.4B connection, and a Kensington Nano security slot if you need to lock this one down. For wireless connectivity, it's Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6E. On the bottom of the Chromebook, there is cooling. So there's ventilation grill for the fan for those 13th gen core processors. Opening this one up and the screen does go back 360 degrees as of course it is fully convertible. We'll come back to the keyboard deck in just a second. I'll just show you how that's gonna look width wise now if you're using it in tablet mode. And just round to the other side. So yeah, not too bad at all there. And then yeah, the keyboard deck, so Nicely laid out keyboard deck here, looking very similar again to that Spin 714. So I have got an American keyboard layout on this one. You'll notice with the at symbol up on the two key there. We've got the upward firing speakers either side of the keyboard and they're DTS branded. We've got the optional fingerprint reader on this one, which is a really nice inclusion. We've got a very large, smooth trackpad, again, branded Ocean Glass by Acer. That doesn't mean it's made of glass, although it does feel very smooth. It's simply made of ocean-bound plastic. And it does feel very well seated and like it's going to be responsive to taps and clicks. Looking at the keys and the keyboard itself, feeling like more medium to deeper key travel there. And the keyboard is fully backlit. I'll just overlay some footage here so you can see it in a slightly darker room. Now set up with my test user and checking out the touch display. It's looking great on first impression. So it's 14 inches, it's coated in Gorilla Glass and it's a WUXGA resolution. So that's 1920 by 1200. And that's due to the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, making the screen slightly taller. It's IPS of course, and it's got a claimed brightness level of 340 nits. And it certainly does seem nice and bright here. It's a more gloss finish to me, but Acer say it's matte, it's not overly reflective, and it covers 100% of the sRGB color space. So colors should look really accurate. The touch response seems decent again on first impressions, and it is pen compatible. But unlike the Spin 714, I don't think any options of this Spin 514 come with a pen. The bezel appearance isn't too bad. Acer claim 80.5% screen to body ratio, and that's exactly the same as you find on the Spin 314. And at the top of the display, this one's got a Quad HD webcam and a manual privacy slider. Just recapping the core spec on the UK models from Acer's site. So I've got the Core i5 13th gen processor from Intel. There are also models with the i3 version of that 13th gen processor. And either way, you're gonna see updates to Chrome OS all the way through to June 2032. 
I've got the maximum RAM, so it's 16 gig of DDR5 RAM, but you can see there's models with just 8 gig. And I've got the maximum storage, which is a 256 gig SSD. Again, there's some models with 128 gig, and in that case, it's universal flash storage. So yeah, a couple of options to look out for there and some different configs available. Availability in the UK is looking a little low, but this one is available at Amazon to buy in this particular spec. As always, I'll drop my Amazon affiliate links in the pinned comments so you can check out both Amazon UK or your region if you're outside of the UK. In the UK, we've also got this other spec available at eBuyer. So again, one more to check out there. Over in the US, it looks like there's three main model options available. And interestingly, these use a slightly newer processor. So you've got the Intel Core 5 120U processor and the Intel Core 3 100U processor. So you've got those model options. You've got the same options for the RAM and the same different options for the storage as well. Prices and availability, perhaps a little bit better in the US. You can see there's several retailers there and there's just Amazon on this middle option and there's just Amazon and again on this end option. So again, do check out my affiliate links in the pinned comment. Software-wise, you're getting all the benefits of Chromebook Plus, and that's including some of those new features I showed at last month's Chromebook Showcase, and I'm expecting they're going to go live in Chrome OS 138 that will start rolling out in this coming week. So do subscribe if you want to see that video. Testing out a bit of gaming with Real Racing 3 and it's all looking good here. So drop me a comment and let me know what you'd be interested to know about this one when I put the full review together. In the meantime, if you want to check out the more entry level Spin 314, as well as the higher end Chromebook Plus Spin 714, those videos are on the left of your screen now to watch next. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm's choice is on the right of your screen. Cheers.